If you've been paying attention, catalytic converter thefts are on the rise all over the country. Here in Biddeford, we've been lucky with only one instance so far. We want to make sure that it doesn't start becoming an issue. Today, we're going to discuss a few points that may assist in preventing you from becoming a victim. We'll discuss some preventative measures, what to look for in your neighborhood, and we will discuss Maine's new law that was passed to help discourage these thefts. I'm Corporal Matt Baldwin, and I manage the Crime Scene and Evidence Program here at the Biddeford Police Department. If you're unfortunate enough to have your catalytic converter stolen from your vehicle, it's likely that me or someone from my team will respond to document the crime and process any evidence that was left behind. Thieves target catalytic converters for the precious metals contained inside. Metals like platinum, rhodium, and palladium. These metals can be worth thousands of dollars per ounce. Spend a few minutes and research the value of your catalytic converter on your vehicle. Hybrid vehicles like a Toyota Prius tend to have converters that are more valuable. See what the replacement cost in your vehicle would be. Supply issues have also caused delays in replacement parts on some models, so you'll want to make sure that yours can be replaced quickly at your local dealership or shop. Vehicles that are also targeted are ones that are high off the ground, like trucks and vans. These vehicles offer easy access to thieves and plenty of room to move around underneath. Some of these larger vehicles also have dual exhausts, so thieves can have access to multiple converters at once. Park your vehicle in the locked garage if you can. If parking in your driveway, make sure it's well lit and advertise the use of your doorbell camera or surveillance systems. Video surveillance may help us catch the thieves at a later time, but it may not prevent the theft from happening in the first place, especially if they didn't know that they were being recorded. If parking on the street, park in well lit and well trafficked areas. Park close to the curb so thieves have to access the vehicle from the roadway side and don't leave your vehicle parked in the same spot for multiple days at a time. Please be vigilant about reporting suspicious cars and foot traffic at unusual times of the day and night. It only takes a few moments to steal a catalytic converter. These thieves may have traveled from another state and they could be operating with a vehicle that's got out of state plates on it. These thieves may be carrying unusual tools like car jacks and saws and jack stands. Catalytic converters generally look like small mufflers, but they can vary in their size and shape. Familiarize yourself with what they look like. Listen for unusual noises of a saw or a grinder at unusual hours. But understand that the thieves may also be using a pipe cutter that makes almost no noise at all. Often there is little to no evidence left behind at a scene. So it's better to prevent the theft in the first place. Evidence that we may find at a scene are tools and saw blades that are left behind. Tool mark impressions, fingerprints, and DNA blood evidence may also be left at the scene. Sometimes we also look for footwear impressions. It is important for you to report these thefts even if you think that there is nothing that we can do here at the police department. There are several aftermarket anti-theft devices available to help you prevent the removal of your catalytic converter. Spend a few moments and see if one of these anti-theft devices are right for you and your vehicle. A more affordable deterrent may be as easy as spray painting your catalytic converter with a high temperature or high visibility paint. These bright colors tell reputable dealers that your converter is likely stolen. As a result, thieves may avoid removing these converters. Make sure that you research the correct type of paint before application. It needs to be a high temperature variety. Our state of Maine has recently passed a law to help prevent thefts of catalytic converters. The short summary is that all catalytic converters removed from vehicles need to be engraved with a vehicle identification number from the vehicle it was removed from. Dealerships in Maine should already be engraving this on your catalytic converter. This new law creates a legal framework governing the sale, purchase, and removal, transport, and disposal of catalytic converters that have been removed from vehicles, and it establishes criminal penalties for these violations. It requires that a person who is a licensed scrap metal processor must also be licensed as a recycler. Recyclers are then responsible for documenting the sales of all converters and making sure that they are properly marked and accounted for when they receive them. The records are then forwarded to local law enforcement to match against any recent thefts. In short, it is now a crime to possess a catalytic converter that is not engraved with a VIN number on it 
that's not attached to your vehicle. If you have the means or your mechanic can engrave your VIN onto your catalytic converter for you, it may deter any thieves who may be targeting your vehicle. I hope this information has helped you today. If you have any questions, please feel free to find me here at the Biddeford Police Department. Thank you.